In our last video, you learned why it can be detrimental for your body to eat all day long. Now, we'll use the popular 16-8 intermittent fasting method as an example to explain why it's so important to give your body the rest it needs between meals. This is how it all works. When we haven't eaten for a while, our bodies look elsewhere to obtain energy. They first tap into our previously stored glucose reserves, glycogen, to sustain them for a while. However, once they've depleted their glycogen supply, our bodies will look for another energy source to consume. Cue fat burning. Now that our bodies have used up all the glucose, it's time for them to use the fat reserves and form ketones, molecules that are particularly powerful energy suppliers for our cells. This state is known as ketosis and usually sets in between 24 and 72 hours after last having consumed carbohydrates. That said, if you regularly intermittent fast, ketosis can be achieved within 12 to 14 hours of fasting. Some studies have even shown that it's these ketone bodies that could be responsible for the famous rise in performance and surge of concentration associated with fasting. In fact, when assessing test subjects, researchers found that increased brain activity occurred from the 12th hour of fasting onwards. Still not convinced? No problem. Fasting has a few more tricks up its sleeve. After abstaining from food for some time and switching to using fat reserves for energy, another mechanism comes into play, autophagy. It starts after around 14 to 16 hours of fasting. Our cells start to process themselves. Old cell components and so-called misfolded proteins are recycled during this phase and can be reused. The cells are completely renewed. Our bodies do a major deep clean, so to speak, and tidy everything up. The result? More efficient cells that can improve our life quality and extend our life expectancy. In addition to fat burning, boosted performance and autophagy, the fasting period also allows the stomach and intestines to take a break from digestion and relax. Studies show that regular fasting is one of the most effective means of building sustainable bowel health, which is particularly useful because a large part of our immune system resides in the gut. If our intestines remain healthy and rested, we're much less susceptible to pathogens, and the risk of diabetes or other lifestyle-related diseases, such as high blood pressure, decreases significantly. After hearing all this, you might wonder why it took so long to figure out, when in fact, the whole topic is not a modern invention whatsoever, but arguably the oldest eating pattern in the world. In contrast are the eating habits that most people find normal nowadays. The oversupply of food in our consumerist society have led us to make food a huge part of our lives, encouraging us to eat, or at least think about food, constantly. As a result, many no longer even know what it means to eat consciously and naturally, or what it's like to be actually hungry. The sum of all these things should be enough to at least rethink our eating behavior and possibly even restructure it. For this, we can only recommend intermittent fasting. Not only is it helpful, it's also really easy to implement, even if 16 hours without food may sound a bit difficult at first. In our next video, we'll explain how intermittent fasting works and how simple it is.